the cough. <coughs> the cough is visibly exposed in 777 within a frame neon scene. A bright explosion bursts out millions of uniquely crafted phantom stars. Neither of them are alike in structure of detail, but yet still share a resounding similarity to each other. When sending out vibrations of your light, recognize the digital sphere in the distance. Its rotation allows it all to be remembered. Be careful not to stare too long into the light. The consequences that comes with the heavy stare is the reality of a forgetful gaze. You'll start to see blackness and would be blinded by the enormity of the light. While it is light, it is not light. It carries force and is heavy by the measures of the tunnels within its beams. With every living thing which has texture, there remains a coated temperature which speaks to the volume of its energy. This temperature is to remain by the conditions of its energy field. By each cough, several declarations are being made to the atmosphere around you. These are the seven coughs that are indicators of your inner expressions. That was quite dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> Not really, though. I've been looking at drama deeper. Uh, the cough came to me literally <laughs> because I was coughing. <clears throat> I've been kind of under the weather. And I just found myself writing about different things that I started seeing. Some of my inner expressions and just some of the things that I started to notice a bit more. And what really took me by surprise is the overall drama that is often misguided you know i think drama is okay i don't mind drama sometimes it's like look save your drama for your mama you know well that's the quote you know i don't want to deal with drama most people don't want to deal with the drama most people just want you to cut to the chase look say what you need to say so i can get where i need to get there won't be no problems but then some people <clears throat> they kind of lace a lot of what they do with this sense of extra it's like you're being dramatic you're giving me more than i need you don't have to specify so much. Just say it, you know. Don't be beating around the bush. Don't be dramatic. Or don't be loose on your emotions. But the problem in saying all of this, well, it's not that there's a problem. But when you accuse someone of being dramatic, it's almost like some the easiest defense to that is, I'm not being dramatic. It's like, well, then, Hakuna, your tata. <laughs> Tamiko, that's for you. But, um. Yeah, just be calm. But there's a certain rage in drama that I think we're all drawn to in a sense because it's passion. And when anyone is caught up in their own moment, when they're raptured in this emotion, it's easy to just like, ah, just give them all of that drama. But most people that are cool, you know, developing a sense of coolness, being cool in general, it's like, look, okay, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Have a good day, you know. So, so I'm gonna make this easy for you. I'm gonna start off with a drink, <laughs> just to clear our throats because we've had several coughs. <clears throat> I think we can clearly both see that we're not getting anywhere, and that's fine. We've had several of our inner expressions come out through the drama of our coughs. I understand that, but I'm becoming more and more consciously cool. I realize that drama is a narration of passion and just this extreme expression, this passionate expression. And it can have its fair share, it could be extra sometimes, but I think we both know we don't have to tolerate it, even if the roots are passionate and sincere. So, I'm going to drink another one and uh, you have a good day. <laughs>